what is going on guys welcome back to another video of notes application development in android studio using firebase in last video we designed our add notes screen and successfully saved the notes in firebase fire store in this video we will design the recycler view to display all the notes that are added in the firebase fire store database so let's get started so in last video we have added one note having this title timestamp and content so we'll get all the list of notes and display in the recycler view let's go in the project let's close this open activity main.xml and main activity so in activity main.xml first we'll add the title bar and then we'll add the recycler view title bar we can copy from notes detail same title bar we will use i will copy this relative layout and paste it over here so instead of add new note it will be notes instead of this icon we will use another icon that will be menu icon so we can add logout button over there so i will use a vector asset go to drawable new vector asset clip art i will use the menu this one i will use okay finish so instead of this source I will change it to menu it will look like this and also id i will change it will be menu button that's it so our title bar is designed below this i will add a recycler view so we will add recycler view width will be match parent height will be match parent id i will give recycler view and it will be below our title bar layout so it will come here so that's it we have added the recycler view we are done with the main activity so we can go to main activity dot java and create the reference so recycler view recycler view menu button that is our image button menu button so let's let's assign the id so after this add node button i will assign for recycler view r dot id dot recycler view menu button r dot id dot menu button so we have assigned the id now we have to add on click listener on menu button so menu button dot set on click listener lambda i will use which will call a method show menu we have not created show menu i will create over here void show menu so it will display the menu will display the logout button in the menu and we have to implement the logout button so for now i will not do that now we will set up the recycler view so let's create a method for setting up recycler view here i will call setup recycler view and create a method void setup recycler view so here we will get the data from the firebase and display in the recycler view so if you don't know how to use recycler view i have one dedicated video in my channel you can check that video for full explanation so in this video also i will explain all those things so first thing we need is item view for each item in the recycler view we have to show some view that will be text or any custom layout so that will be a single item view single notes will be there so we will create the item view first so let's go to layout new layout resource file create a recycler note item root element i will choose linear layout and click on okay so click on split here we will design a single item view where single note will be displayed so what we will do is height we don't need full of the parent so height we will wrap content whatever the note height will be displayed so it will be custom height inside this linear layout we will add text view so first text view will be for title so width will be match parent height will be wrap content text will be like note title this will be the note title text color let's say black text size will be 18 sp and margin vertical we will give 4 dp so this will be our note title we will also show the content so i will copy this below this i will show the content but it will be less size that will be 17 sp color i don't want black i want some grayish color so this will be note this can be note content that can be long since this can be long i will give the max lines that will be two it will not be more than max lines if it is more than two lines it will give some ellipses at the end so ellipse size end so for content also done we have added a timestamp in the note so i will show the time also for that another text view i will use 
below this text color i will remove it size will be 12 sp i want to show it on right so gravity will be right so this is our layout we should give id for each text view so first text view will be note title text view i'll copy this note content text view here note timestamp text view so we have designed our recycler with single item it will come in main activity it can be multiple numbers also let's close this now after creating the view we have to create the adapter so for recycler view we need one view and one adapter so let's create an adapter class new we will give it note adapter in this class we need one more class that will be note view holder we need a note view holder which will hold the view for this recycler note item so it will be inherited from recycler view dot view holder view holder so here we have to create a constructor create constructor and here we can assign the ids so we have three text view one is title text view content text view and timestamp text view so we have to assign the id like we do on on create method so title text view equals to item view dot find view id r dot id dot note title text view same for content and timestamp content note content text view and timestamp text view will be note timestamp text view so our node view holder is ready we can put this down so to use firebase data as a recycler view we need this node adapter to be inherited from firestore recycler adapter so we need firestore recycler adapter that is firebase ui component so we have to add the dependency for that so let's go to google so in google search for firebase ui dependency click on this link and you can copy the dependency from here so we need for fire restore i will copy this i'll provide it in description also you can copy from there go to our project gradle build our gradle from app model and paste over here now click on sync now it will add the dependency so once our dependency added we can close this now we have to inherit that class so extends fire store recycler adapter as you can see class over here inside this we need to provide two things that one is note and another is note view holder so first is note another is note view holder so it will take this now there is some error because we have to implement some method click on implement method it will implement two methods click on ok also it is going to create a constructor you can click on it create constructor remove the comments for now we have this constructor in constructor we are taking option also we will take context so that we can perform on click also so i will receive context from here and assign this context this dot context equals to context so from wherever we are calling this we will provide context so now comes part on create view holder in on create view holder we have to pass the view that we have just created that is recycler note item so for that i will give i will create a view layout inflator dot from that will be from view group that is parent dot get context and we will inflate layout name is r dot layout dot recycler note item and we will pass view group also and one attached to root that will be false so we have created a view from this recycler note item and we will return this as a note view holder so it will create the object of this and return the view so in this way it will create the view holder now on bind view holder if we have data that is note we have note that is each individual note in that we have title content and timestamp according to that we will set it to title text view content text view timestamp text view so i'll name this as note and here i will do is holder dot title text view dot set text it will be note dot title in the same way holder dot this content text view will contain content text view will contain note dot content timestamp text view will contain note dot timestamp 
so this will be on date format so we have to convert it to a string so in utility class i will create one method that will convert timestamp to a string so i will name the method timestamp to string it will take timestamp and it will convert into a string we will use we will use date format so simple date format in this pattern i will write month month day day and year year dot format timestamp dot to date so this method will format our date and we will return this formatted date now from here i will call that method that will be utility dot timestamp to string we have to pass the timestamp that is node dot timestamp so in this way we have set the view so now our node adapter is completed let's go to main activity and set up the recycler view so in main activity first thing we will query the database so for that we have query class from firestore query equals to so we have to get the collection reference if you remember in utility we have this collection reference method where we were storing notes now getting the notes also we need that collection reference so utility dot get collection reference for notes so we have collection reference for note but we will order by timestamp so order by that will be timestamp and the order will be query dot direction dot descending so that the latest data will come at first now by this query we will create a options so fire store recycler option which will be note type options equals to new fire store recycler option we will create the object of recycler option with the help of builder so click on this type will be note we'll set the query for this that we have just created so set query which ask for a query and the class so query will be query class will be note dot class dot build so this will return the recycler options from the query with note now we have to set recycler view dot set layout manager will set new linear layout manager and pass the context now we have created the note adapter so we have to create object of it note adapter note adapter and here we will create note adapter equals to new note adapter first parameter is option as you remember the constructor second parameter is context that will be this and finally with recycler view we will set the adapter that will be our note adapter so in this way we are done with the recycler view first we query the database with the timestamp then converted the query into options this option we passed in notes adapter and in notes adapter we are setting data to the text views so let's run it and test it either it is coming or not our application is running but i can't see any note we have some problem since we have set the adapter to recycler view on start of the page we have to listen to that adapter so we have to override the on start method so after this we will override the on start method on start here we will start listening so note adapter dot start listening second method will be on stop we have to stop listening so note adapter dot stop listening third method will be on resume so on resume on resume we will once we go to the add note page and add the note when we come back the note should be updated so adapter dot notify data set changed so these three method you have to overwrite let's run now so as you can see my note is visible this is my first note this is title this is content and this is timestamp it is it is displaying correctly let's add the second note and see it is updated or not i will click on plus this will be second note content will be added recycler view let's see it updates new note or not i'll click on save so as you can see my second note is updated immediately since we have arranged it in descending the latest note will be at top but design is not looking good let's change the design for item view go to recycler note item and let's add some background so for this whole linear layout what i will do is i will add some padding about 12 dp i will add margin vertical about 8 dp 
and background tint I will set it to white and background will be rounded corner so that rounded corner will be visible since we have my primary in the background it should be visible nicely white color so let's run it and test it so now it is looking very nice we have added two nodes we have added the rounded corners also it is looking great you can add any number of data now it will automatically update so that's all for this video in next video we will set on click listener to this item by clicking it it will go to node details activity and there we can view or edit or delete the node so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to click on subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye